Okay, now let's move on with the um, clean up the bottom of the engine here so we can get the pan back on. I picked up what I call thread ch chasers. They're not um, as sharp and won't cut like uh, the um, taps if you use regular taps. In fact, these are our craftsmen I picked up. Uh, so they call them rethreading set. But sometimes it's hard to find stuff because you call it one thing and they have it labeled as another. But I went through with the with them checking each of them. And what I use is I got a uh, uh, electric socket driver that I use, skill wrench. I bought this over 20 years ago. It's not very fast, doesn't have much power, but it has enough for little jobs like this so you don't have to uh, keep working back and forth up in the wrong direction. And they can go. And and the thing is, they go, these bolts here go all the way through. So, they can just go backwards. That's really nice. I don't think anybody's anymore, though. The only thing is, I come upon this one here. It seems to be a little bit of a problem here. Um, get my socket off, back off there. Seems like it's having a little trouble here. So, that's the case. I got my ratcheting wrench here. Let me just so I can feel see what it feels like. Uh, it doesn't feel good at all. I if I can get from the other side, if I can start from the other side. Let's start from the other side. I don't know if I got my ratcheting wrench on. Yeah, that'll fit on there. There we go. So that's one nice thing is when they when it goes all the way through. I'm going the wrong direction. Again, anyway. When they go all the way through, you can work from the other side to straighten out the threads. There we go. Yep. As you can see, it looks like a little bit of resistance here, but hopefully this will clean those threads up. Okay. Almost all the way it's pretty well through. Go back the other direction. There we go. Now it's pretty much finger. See, that's what I like about that ratcheting drive. It electric ratchet because it uh, anytime there's any. It's just constant drive, so there's no slipping when you. It's like when you pull back here, every once in a while, if it's really loose, it'll just slip on you. There we go. Now I 
like I said, try this again. Oh. Cleaned up. Looks like it's pretty clean. Cleaned up pretty good. There we go. Another thing I like to do is get a can of air. Just uh, this one's called Duster. I picked this up at uh, CarQuest. I tried AutoZone. They looked at me like I was crazy. I said, oh, you want to clean out some keyboards, huh? And I said, no. I like taking, clean these holes out here. Because, like, these don't go all the way through. Oh, that one went all the way through. That one goes all the way through. Sure you can tell the ones that go all the way through by the sound. That one doesn't. That's good just to go through here. Make sure they're all cleaned out. Just make sure you don't turn the can. Uh, upside down, or then you get liquid out that air. But that's basically it. I'm gonna clean up the threads to do the uh, threads up towards the front. I couldn't get my ratchet in there, so I just went ahead and went by hand. Then put the wrench on, like so, and then clean them out. And then on farther up, I was able to use my extension. I'll get up here and start these by hand, like so. And then I take my extension. We're on the side. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Take my extension, run up in there. Well, I did earlier. That's because I had two free hands, that's why. Let's see if I can get up in here. There we go. Helps I use it right into the socket. I went up here and put my extension on, my chaser on, put my electric ratchet on, Oop, wrong direction. I was able to chase the threads like that, take care of the front. So, all the threads are taken care of. I've cleaned pretty much all the gasket off. It all looks nice and clean. So that's about ready for the pan to be put back on. Like I said, still got to clean the um, uh, oil pickup. The Once I get that clean, put a get new gasket on, install it, and I'll be ready to put the uh, pan back on. So that's where I'm at now.